we've worked out that um, Facebook has got like these uh, recognition programs where if you say key words often enough, then like they'll delete you. And the thing is, like, like there was plenty of key words in that message that I put out, like peaceful and love and happiness. So obviously they don't want that going about, so they'll shut him down. So it's, it's things like that. I, I, if you look at my last Facebook account, there was absolutely hardly any posts from myself on it. And what, what the posts were was uh, offering people a, a taste of freedom, uh, just very, very slightly. I'll put a few messages out to the people that I know. And um, then literally the next day, well, it was within like an hour or so, mm -hmm. again, shut down. As soon as I'm trying to advertise... Uh, starting you, you were advertising quite a bit of information, you know, the, the I, I looked up the SESKV account thing that you, the trust account, you know, some, you know, really um, practical, really good technical information you about the law about and stuff the, like the that. The SESKV Trust. Trust. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the SESKV yeah. Trust is um, basically the trust that they've set up uh, upon your birth. And by your birth, I don't mean the day that you was born. It's um, the day that you was registered uh, with the corporation known as United Kingdom. Now, they, they register you as a corporate body. Um, body meaning uh, fiction and corporate meaning fiction. So they register you as a fiction fiction. You just don't <laughs> exist. You really don't exist. Now, what they've done is they've set this up and they give you a birth certificate, which is actually printed on bonded paper. Um, you've got a picture of the Crown and General Registry Office as a watermark on the bonded paper and what is printed on bonded paper are things of value, stocks, shares, money. So it is an item, an instrument of uh, value. And uh, what they're expecting you to do is to use their system and that name, um, and whilst you're using that name and that system and their money, you're basically you operate in commerce the whole time for them. Uh, you're using their money, you're paying tax, you're, and they control the money. So the more you use it, the, the fatter they get. Mm -hmm. And Because um, it's not the money they're after, it's your energy. Yeah. Because without you and me and everyone building, you know, doing that, they can't live. It's they're not like the money, it's not the trust fund account. None of that does anything. No. It just sits there dormant and acts in commerce. Do you want to elaborate on who they are? Can you ask the what the P T W W who who the powers, are behind that is the powers that were that were the P T W. What does that mean? That um, to me, that means um, the elites, uh, the build both whatever you want to label them, New World Order, Illuminati, the Illuminati blah, 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 blah. But the thing the is, rock stars, yeah, the Illuminati, the, the, the Saxacoba Goaters, like things like the royal family, the media, uh, the money masters, all that, all in one big group meetings and the rest. But the ones that are right at the top of the tree are the Rothschilds, the Warburgs, Rockefellers, all the banking cartels, banking families. And apparently the Jesuits, Jesuits, supposedly, I've heard. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's the bankers that are the ones that are above everyone, I believe, because they're the ones that have got control over everything. Um, Chris Everard said that it's the... I don't know if you mentioned the Jesuits, but he said the bankers are just the puppet, the, the vehicles, and there's others, you know, even less prominent... Okay. Than them, but there's so many theories so, out there. Like, yeah, yeah, royal, it's more like the royals or whatever. From yeah, other planets and things like yeah, that. Yeah, you can go, it just depends how, how much, from my point of view, how much you allow your imagination to go mm. because who knows? And uh, I have an open mind, I'm open to all of it personally. Um, but I'm looking for solutions, not, not, I'm not looking deeper into the problem, but I know what the problem is. No, what, what is the solution, would you say? Love. It could be yeah. some dark and It's quite simple. As Bill Hicks said, it's a choice between love or fear. fear. Yeah. And the powers that were, or be, or whatever you want to perceive them to be, uh, they've created this whole system that we're living as We're living in a frequency. We're all operating on frequencies, sound, sight, everything. But what you truly are, an emotional being, is not physical. But it does come onto the physical realm because of fear. It's 9-11, um, child abuse, monetary system. They're all levels of fear. And when, when you're looking at some of this information, you get a knot in your belly. And that is the emotion coming on the physical realm. Um, if you're operating fully on a love frequency, then like you would be one with everything and you would experience greatness. But you need that to happen en masse. But what they've done is create the system so everybody en masse, the 100 monkey syndrome, is operating on some kind of level of fear. 
but the day will come when there'll be a mass awakening and people will be able to operate away from their control. Because and that's what we're trying to do, I think. We're trying to operate in love. And, uh, and that's why I say following your heart and, uh, and not your heart, your heart that beats, not the muscle, you know, although science has proved it's more than just the muscle, but um, not the muscle, the chakra, the, the energy vortex there is, is where you experience love from. That's where you give and receive love. And, uh, and if, you, if you're not listening to your mind and you're following your emotions, because we don't, we, don't, we don't use our emotions to communicate anymore. We, we, we're actually, we have to, they're, they're, they're bad things in this society. If you're angry, you're, you're labelled, you know, you've got a psychiatric illness, you know, just for being angry. But, um, and they're trying to do that with everything. Or even if you're too happy yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, what's, what's he having? What's he taking? You know, I want some of that. Like, what's in the water? Fluoride. But, um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, they'll yeah, soon so be prescribing depressants for young people who are too happy. Yes, basically. it's crazy. But if you, so if you're operating on that from your heart and, uh, and you don't listen to your mind too much, you don't get caught up in your mind too much and, and you realise that you, if you follow your heart you're always going to end up where you should be. And there is challenges, and I, and I think that's what the big fear is for most people. They dip their foot in and they think, oh, <laughs> that's a challenge, <laughs> I ain't going to get over that. But you can, because the human human beings are the most amazing, they can be, they've got the potential to be the most amazing creatures, just, just as every other creature is. You know, uh, we, we've seen that guy, I think everyone's seen him on YouTube, the, the, I think it's the Australian guy with no arms and legs. Yeah. Amazing dude, amazing dude. And, uh, and he just shows you that... Doesn't matter what you know. It's it's your heart. That's what counts. That, and and he's got a massive heart, you know. And he. There's a lot. Uh, of I mean, I can't speak for him, but in my opinion, he's living from his heart every day. And uh, and and that's that's what we should aspire to be. I yeah. think there's a lot of people out there that have got that fear of failure. Mm -hmm. But as I said earlier, it's you're not failing. Yeah, you, you're, you're only failing if you haven't learned from it. Yeah. So like, do you know what I mean? You can learn from every single experience in your life, and if you can't learn from it then like, yeah, you probably are failing because you're okay. not learning. Okay. Like every experience that I've gone through, I'm learning from mm -hmm. and I'm taking that to the next level each mm -hmm. time. And mm -hmm. it's like, I'm having a great time. Do you need to learn or on a more philosophical level? Do you need to learn or do you, do you already know? You just need to remember. <laughs> are we here to learn or remember? Yeah, because like, I believe we're born awake and then we're dumbed down every step of the yeah, way after that. That's a, that's a, I feel the same as well. I think uh, you look at a, a newborn child it knows everything it's like they don't need to they yeah. don't need anything they've got all the life in their eyes and everything yeah right? yeah and they just they just love you know just full of love like you, you know, it's the old saying what's the difference between a hitler baby and a gandhi baby hitler was conditioned <laughs> he was made to think the way he thought you know so we'll teach him nursery rhymes like uh kids that like get kidnapped by an old woman and yeah, like, you know yeah. what I mean? it's like you know what's going on here yeah, it's the fear, story of fear, fear into them from day one and it is it's so totally it. conditioning totally to do with uh, the way you're brought up oh um, mother hubbard she went to the cupboard it's like what there's no food don't you know what i mean God, struggles <laughs> well, there's, really a lot, there's a lot but um it is and we we are we are living in uh, in this in this world where we're, we're drummed into us from from birth from cradle to grave, most. Um, Though we've got original sin, really, yeah, on many levels. I, mean, I don't. I don't. But we're that. imperfect. Yeah, you're, because I, the way I see sin, is debt. You know, you're, you're in debt. You're in debt to the bankers. You're in sin with God. And I think, um, why my personal opinion? Why would God make you? Why would He make you in sin? Why? 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 Why would He allow Adam and Eve to, to, to? Or why would He judge them? I mean, why would you make an apple tree? And so you can have everything, but you can't, can't eat, eat the that. apple. Yeah, you can't eat that. Because it's got uh, a bit it's more B17 in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what it is. You can't eat apples. Yeah. Yeah. You can't eat them tips. Don't eat them tips. You'll cure cancer. That's it. So, um, well, not cure, sorry. But yeah. Mm. Remission. You're, you're, uh, so that's that's the way I see it. I, I think it's symbolic. It's very symbolic. And, uh, and there's a lot of truth in the Bible. Yeah, I totally agree with that. But there's a lot of truth in the Quran. Uh, and, and there's a lot of truth in Buddhism, and there's a lot of truth in the New Age, just as there's a lot of um, distruth in all of it, um, whether it's intentional or, or it's uh, mistaken. Um, but so it's, it's, you've got to find your own truth. That's that's it. That's it's your truth. Nothing to do with me. If you believe something, there's a lot of truth in Bugs Bunny as well. There is. There is. <laughs> there is a lot of truth in Bugs Bunny. About the name. And Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. <laughs> 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 There's truth in Disney as well. Yeah.